Well, my photo reportage about Gokarna effortless. Uh, I'm an artist, I'm in the zone. From Gokarna town, I climb over the headland, quite a walk, and I look, then get the beautiful look of uh, Kudli Beach below for the first time, sparkling Arabian Sea. Yeah, I go down to the sea, swim, and we'll notice the water is pure. You can see the bottom, not like in Goa, and walk along the shoreline until there it is, the Spanish Palace. Idyllic. It's just before Christmas, so the expatriate uh, world travelers are playing uh, games with their kids. They've made kind of like a little bamboo <laughs> playground school for their kids. Getting ready for Christmas. <sighs> Well, sure enough. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> New York Steve's there and his friends. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the rest of the Goa Freak trip. <laughs> Seven or eight people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he introduces me to Peter. Well, Peter's kind of face and tough body. Why? <laughs> Peter drove his motorcycle from Europe across the Middle East to India. And then from, you know, northern India all the way down here to Gokarna. Yeah, I'm impressed. Well, I keep on truck and I climb, uh, walk to the end of Kudli Beach, climb over another land head. It's also gorgeous. And come down, uh, at a, well, at the, at the viewpoint, I see Om Beach. It's called Om Beach because from this height, it is shaped like the Om, Sanskrit Om. There it is, <laughs> exactly. Uh, at the bottom of Om Beach is, you know, Gokarna's most hip little guest house, uh, the Nomaste. So I have a, you know, great health food salad and a mango lassi. Yeah. Well, I got to keep going. I'm an explorer. So all the way down to the end of Om Beach, up and over the another land, <laughs> and I smoke a a fatty of Indian marijuana. I can't tell you how I got that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm ecstatic from the ganja, and I saunter down peninsula, luxuriant with warm, flowing, golden grass, just a, a footpath wide enough for one person. I'm ecstatic from the divine nature. This is my it that I was talking about. My key to being perfectly happy to be alone and uh, at one with the universe. Yeah. Ride down to Half Moon Bay. Half Moon, yeah. Uh, oh, hmm. After so much talking with Eddie and his friends, I am in the sacred mood for the silence of divine photography. Hike alone, hiking alone, well, not alone, with goddess Earth as my tantric date, yeah, through the remote castaway beaches. Is it meditation in divine loneliness yeah wow press the refresh button how is that got us earthy little dose of me goes a long way huh? okay well uh yeah we'll go right back to the eddie story uh let's pick up here uh a finger eddie the year's 1967 he's 43 and on his second trip to Nepal, yeah, oh. upon uh, returning from inspiring Gorkana, yeah. The mood in Goa is dark and surreal. Uh, <laughs> the Indians are paranoid uh, from the Bombay massacre of 167 humans. <laughs> Six Oh, no, they sprayed the Victoria train station. It was commuters coming off the train. Well, a rumor's from high intelligence. You know, uh, uh, look, at, I mean, the, the intelligence uh, uh, believe, look, they came from Pakistan on a boat. Well, they could come to go on a boat. 
You do the math. Oops. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's transformed this uh, once serene beaches into a bizarre war zone. Mm -hmm. The anchovies, they got 35 luxury hotels. They're all sandbagged. I mean, a war zone. Indian soldiers with rifles, loaded rifles, cocked and loaded, walking the beaches, the hippie <laughs> beaches, weaving between freaks in thong bikinis, playing handball. <laughs> There's actual military foxholes down on the beach in front of Joe Bananas. Well, maybe they're right. Because a local newspaper reports that a stray, threatening stray dog is busted with a terrorist bomb in its mouth. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Meiji. Meiji. Suspicious animal. Yeah. He, he was uh, uh, spotted behaving. Weirdly, uh, at the garbage dump, or, I mean, Baga Beach. Well, whew, thank God that bomb turned out to be uh, rotten ravioli uh, in a thick tomato sauce wrapped in tin foil. World famous Christmas and golf parties completely shut down. Celebrations, log bonfires, all banned, outlawed. Tourism is, is dwindling fast uh, because the whole world is shocked by the massacre, ongoing massacre in Bombay. I mean, you got 4 billion people, you got eight terrorists. How come it goes on like over a week? Can't you just do what you need to do? Yeah, tourism, huh? Hotels, cancellations are pouring in. What about those Russian belly dancers? Oh, they're nursing drinks in empty nightclubs. The Going Times reports Russian belly dancers, African acrobats, Filipino singers, uh, not to mention all the whores, you know, uh, twiddling their thumbs, unemployed at the height of the tourist season. Yeah, the ripples from the bomb day. Terrorist attack. Business entertainment spiraling. Down with, you know. No more, more wild shimmies. Huh? We're going. <laughs> Conga snake lines? Uh uh. uh the day the smoke billowed over the Taj Mahal? Well, that's the day the music died. In go. <laughs> 